This clutch is not for the family sedan. It's a racing clutch, designed for a car with an 1800 horsepower engine. Without this kind of heavy-duty clutch, there would be no way to transfer that much power to the wheels, and the race car would be going nowhere fast. Race cars use a manual transmission to transfer power to the wheels. So a good clutch is behind every win. Production starts with the flywheel, which connects the clutch to the engine. Computerized cutting tools shape this aluminum part, then move on to carve the cover plate for the clutch. They trim its perimeter to give it the correct profile and reduce its weight. Next, they use a bolt with an industrial diamond tip to level the surface of an iron friction disc. This will allow for better contact with other parts of the clutch. There are typically two to three of these friction discs in a racing clutch. The clutch discs will ride against this steel insert, which they position on the flywheel. The technician applies locking compound to bolts then uses them to attach the insert to the flywheel. Here, the technician sets the bolts to a precise torque. Next, he uses this grinder to flatten the surface of the steel insert. Again, for better contact with the clutch disc. These bolts will anchor the clutch assembly to the flywheel. They're called stand bolts, and there are six. Here, they sculpt titanium cylinders to act as stands for the bolts that were just installed in the flywheel. Titanium is strong and lightweight, which is important because of the huge amount of energy the clutch must transfer. The technician places a stand over each bolt, then arranges the clutch discs and a floater plate on the flywheel. He presets the height of the stands. Then he prepares the pressure plate assembly. He presses aluminum cups into holes in the cover. These cups will hold springs that will be used to change the pressure of the clutch pack. But he holds off on inserting the springs in the cups. First, he installs a series of levers on the cover plate. He slides pivot pins into each lever. These pins will enable the levers to compress and decompress the clutch pack. He applies lubricant to adjuster screws for the clutch springs then threads each one into an aluminum casing. He inserts an assembly in each cup, followed by a heavy-duty spring. He now installs the pressure ring on the underside of the cover. When the driver releases the clutch pedal, the levers cause the pressure ring to compress the clutch pack. That action transfers power from the engine to the transmission. He now slips the pressure ring assembly over the stand bolts and secures it with nuts. He adjusts each stand with a socket wrench, then checks the height. He measures the tips of the levers to confirm that they're even and makes any necessary adjustments. He pushes the levers to test this clutch and the pressure ring responds as it should, creating the necessary pressure on the clutch pack. Finally, a certification sticker and some strapping to secure it for shipping. At the track, this clutch will be serviced between every run. And if it's operating at peak performance, a win could be just down the road. <laughs>